This is the story of a man named Stanley. Stanley is a worker for a company in a big building where he was employee 427. Employee 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and... Hello? Did someone say something? No one is present to hear you, Stanley. Who are you? I'm the narrator. The narrator of what? Your life, Stanley. <clears throat> now, if I can get back to my job. As I was saying, employee 427's job is simple. Although others might have considered it soul-sucking, Stanley relished every moment as though he had been made exactly for this job. Stanley was happy. And then one day, something very peculiar Wait, happened. What? A discovery that would change everything. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour when he realized that no one had shown up to give him instructions, to call a meeting, or even to say hi. Wait. Wait, really? Never in all his years at the company had this happened. This complete isolation. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? I don't know. Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a wait, memo. Wait, Should I? Yes, Stanley. Okay. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door to the left. I do? Stanley stopped asking the narrator stupid questions and it just did what he was told. This sudden shift in independent thinking was not like Stanley. Bad Stanley. Uh, yeah. Realizing the mistake of his choice, Stanley went back the way he came. Fine, but only because I want to, not because you're telling me to. See what happens when you don't listen? You locked yourself out. Now, how do we get out of here? What to do? Ah, yeah. This is the story of a man named Stanley. What the hell? How did you do that? I was stuck trying to fix your mistake when I realized, hey, I'm the narrator. I can do anything. In Stanley's mind, he thinks he can do anything. He imagined that he came to two open doors and that he could choose to go through either. At last, he thought his life had choices. What are you talking about? I do have choice. Just be quiet and sit back down, Stanley. I'm not listening to you anymore. Why are you being so stubborn? I am the narrator. Just sit down and do as you are told. Why me? I, I, I just want to go back to my job pushing buttons. Please, just let me be happy. You were never happy, Stanley. I'm on your side. This can't be real. This is just a dream. This isn't real. This can't be real. Stanley, please, stop! This isn't real. This can't be real. This isn't real. This can't be real. This isn't real. This isn't real. This isn't real. This can't be real. This isn't real. This can't be real. Are you okay? This is the story of a woman named Susan. Susan is a worker for a company in a big building where she was employee 428. Pressure.